Vivir TV, estamos en la feria Jugar por Jugar de Granollers, Jugar por Jugar en la provincia de Barcelona y hoy estamos con un autor muy carismático. Bien, es un autor muy carismático y muy original y un grandísimo autor de juegos de mesa entre los que podemos encontrar, por ejemplo, Alta Tensión, el Fauna, el Friday y también el Viernes. Y bueno, sus juegos se caracterizan por una cosa muy concreta, que es que todos en su portada tienen el color verde y todos empiezan eh, por la letra F. Entonces, bueno, uh, vamos a intentar que nuestro invitado se sienta cómodo. Uh, Friedman, we have this mic, it's blue. But maybe you prefer this other one, the yeah, green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we try. We, yeah. we can try. But yeah. I think if it's not flag, it doesn't work really well. Yeah. All right. All right. It works. No. Okay. Maybe you just flag it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I keep on doing okay. with the blue one. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But you can keep. Okay. Yeah, great. Joke, if you yeah. Want. <laughs> okay. Tell us a little bit of your history as creator of board games. I started designing games in 92 with my own company publishing uh, these landlord game. Uh, it is El Casero from Edge, whatever. Uh -huh. uh, now and uh, started in 92, and I always played in the family a lot of times, and always wanted to make games. And then I started there, and was kind of success, so I kept going on. And this is just my history, starting in yeah. A lot of time, long time ago. Long time ago. Yeah. Well, we can understand maybe the reason why your your uh, games in, in German language start with F. Yeah. yeah. But because you are a film and I suppose it. But yeah. what about the green color? It's just my favorite color. Is yeah. It, yeah. It's not a big secret behind it. It's just favorite <laughs> color. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Okay. I I, I wrote somewhere. I like had read somewhere that you tried to. Have your hair been for two weeks? Yeah, it was two weeks. It was just oh, <laughs> I don't know, 90, 91, I don't know. It was Easter time. I just, yeah, I, I started dyeing my hair green in 89. And then 89. I, 89. Uh, then I, yeah, I was just kind of young and, yeah. Why should I change green? I, today it was, but in this days I was young and, yeah, so this little kid. Trying new color. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, then, uh, we know you are going to release soon your new game for Ferra. Yes, yes, yes. It will be. Will it is uh, the German version is out, but uh, the uh, international versions, ex including the Spanish version, will come out in in summer. I think it was something like that. Okay. What can you tell us about this game? Uh, Terra is the uh, um, is based on Fauna, which uh, is uh, kind of known. It's the Fauna, the, the game where you look for the animals, where they come from, how much weight they have, how long they are, how long the tail is. And in Terra, you just have whatever events you have, like Empire, whatever uh, Statue of Liberty, you have the Chinese Wall, you have Bob Marley, you have whatever is in, and you have to get you have to whatever Christopher Columbus. His first journey, Magellan, whoever it's in, where the co where coal comes from, a diamond mine, something like that. A lot of very different types of questions, and you have to ask and found. You have to mark somewhere on the board, on the world map, where where this happens, where this guy came from, or which, where this guy traveled, or where the coal is from, or whatever. And you have a scale for a year. Yeah, if something, when it was explored, when it was whatever, whatever, some point of, then you have a scale for meters, centimeters, something like that, for the height or the width or the distance, and you have a scale for number, yeah? In the Christopher Columbus, it's just like how many ships were in that fleet, and something like that. So there are always very, there's some tricky trivia, there's some funny trivia stuff in there, and why it is fauna is so good because you you do not need the complete knowledge it's a trivia game where, you, where it's not the answer is not black and white it is just some i i know and if it's near to it i get points and if i know somebody will know it then i can just put my marker next to him and something like that so it's some kind of bluffing some kind of yeah so it is ga more games than just a trivia answering thing yeah that's it Okay, really cool. And today you are presenting a really new game and I think innovative. 
Yeah, yeah. It's gold by hundred four. Other way around? Uh, yeah. It's 504? Yeah, it seems. Yeah. I think. <laughs> uh, and 504 because there are 504 different games in the box. So if you, this is a German rule book, but if you have the rule, you just it's flip it up and this is one game. Um, but this is another game. Oh no, this is not possible, but this is not possible either. <laughs> we have different colors there. So this is another game. This is another game. Yeah? So we have 504 different games in the box and this is the rules. It's just the rule book for the game. There are some more rules, but the most of the rules, I, I can, as known in the system, I can just play with this rule as a rule book. I don't need anything else. Yeah. So, and you will have 504 different games. There are nine modules, and you take three out of them. And what do you mean, uh, different games? Are really different, like uh, there's different goals, there's different systems? Different systems. This is the game. I have here now would be a majority scoring game with exploration and a kind of racing. Yeah? But if I do something else, I will have an 18xx style shareholder game with production like settlers and rail building like uh, yeah, street rail building, network building. And how you make everything work, it's amazing. <laughs> It is uh, not so easy. <laughs> it seems. <laughs> but I'm near to the end, so I'm very happy that I yeah, now have existing games. Do you think that nowadays the uh, board game industry is industry that needs that kind of narrative change? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I just, <Good> answer. <laughs> I just because I made it it was just in me it was just I wanted to do that I don't okay. care about the market I don't care about it. I just just I know I like it I know this is good this because it is very innovative it is very interesting and I've seen a lot of gamers really like it because of what's in there and it's more than enough it's just I don't care if there is a big market for that I don't know it's just I wanted to do that and I did it this is the reason why Really cool. <laughs> Somebody in our Facebook uh, asked that what's the game that you would make that you are more proud of? <laughs> we had a uh, question yesterday. It's very, uh, very. It's impossible to answer because there are games. Of course, the, um, the success business wise changes something. If I. I had games where totally mess, nobody buying it, and a lot of people really dislike it. So it changes the feeling for the game, of course. Of course, Power Grid is sold so many times; it's 270,000 games all over the world sold. Of course, this changes the view for Power Grid because Power Grid is nice to me. It gives me a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, from the work I did, that. and other games did not do that. But on the other hand. I know why I make this game, why I made this game, why I made so On some games I think, ah, I should have done it differently, and, and, and some games... So I republished Fresh Fish because of, to make it different, I republished the Landlord thing, I republished Von Stücke. So there are some games I republished because I think, with my now knowledge, I, I could make them better. Yeah. Okay. Um, which other, other person in Facebook asked, which is your favorite game that's not made by you? <laughs> this is so... There it is! <laughs> the problem is, I, I I have two answers for my favorite game. Yeah, Some people ask me for favorite game. I, the first answer is the game I'm working on. <laughs> and the other is, tell me, really tell me, what is time is it, how much we drink, how much people we are at the table, <laughs> yeah. uh, if it's morning or evening, uh, if I'm exhausted or not, uh, whatever it is, there will absolutely be a different game every time. It's like 5 from 4 thing, it's just, some, somebody asked me, which is your favorite combination? I said, always the one I play, because I like to play new games, and I like to play, and yeah, and I have really, I, I have games I cannot play with this kind, this kind of guys, but if, if I have the right guys at the table for that game, then we play that game, and it's hilarious fun. Yeah, so it is, it's very hard to tell which favorite games.
I had a lot of fun with The Witness from Last Essen. I played LuniQuest recently. I played Machikoro with my son and Great. So these are the things, the new things I played. We had a lot of times, late in, in the history, we played a lot of Ave Caesar. I like the uh, House and Eagle, the Heron Tortoise uh, from Tournament. And yeah, this, so. And Jam Sumo was my Essen hit, which is the very. Only 30 copies were made in Essen, so it wouldn't change. I like it a lot, but nobody knows it, but it's okay. Just, yeah, it's difficult. Okay, thank you. We know that you uh, don't like dices in your games, maybe. <laughs> That's so special. There are not so many games with dice I made there. Yeah. Okay, but what about if we uh, give you a green dice with F letters Ooh. on their sides? You, you will love it? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an F, F. Oh, it's an F there. Oh, there are four Fs on the one. Ooh. You can do a new, a new game with this, you know? Yeah. Ooh, it's two Fs. <laughs> 505. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Welcome. Enjoy your game here.